What is going on guys, Spicy Cork here for another Rocket League video. Before we get into the video real quick, I just gotta remind you we are giving away this titanium white octane. Once we reach 25,000 subscribers here on the channel, all you gotta do to get entered to win is just drop me a like on the video and leave me a comment down below. If you want to while you're down there, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications, but you don't necessarily have to. That's just, you know, if you wanna stick around on the channel and help us reach our goal of the 25,000 as well. So I know what you're probably thinking, I'm like five days late to the party, six days late to the party, however long it's been since the F1 came out. But I haven't, uh, I've seen some people make like Twitter posts about it, just showing the comparison of the two different cars. Um, so we're going to compare the F1 to the Animus. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that the Animus is already in the game, it's been in the game forever. Um, it looks like the F1 car. Uh, and you know, I, I'm curious myself how both of them play like respectively and if it's probably worth it to get the f1 pack if you want the f1 car or if you want the animus which is more customizable to where you can swap everything around and use your items that you already have so before we get into that real quick just you know if you want to support me in the item shop or if you want to help support me on the channel with you know more expensive videos and you know even videos like this where uh, you know, I'm, I'm about to spend 2,000 credits on this and I don't necessarily think I'm ever going to use it again. And I went out and got some, you know, some other items for the video as far as like the painted animuses go. Um, you know, if you want to help support me on my adventure here on YouTube, feel free to use my code, code KORGYT in the item shop. Um, it, it does help me out if you guys are, you know, ever buying anything in the item shop, feel free to use it. Uh, we do have four screen dually dragons in the item shop, which is pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to be grabbing it just because... You know, I, I didn't get any of the other colors really, so it doesn't really make sense to get the four screen one. If I got all the other ones, I would definitely want to finish the set, but you know, that's besides the point. So the F1 car, it does look sick. It looks really, really sick. Um, it's definitely a lot more aggressive looking than the Animus, but the thing is, this is 20 bucks. Animus for a titanium white one, titanium white one is $3, okay? And, and a regular one, unpainted, which is basically what this is. It's basically unpainted. Um, it, it's like 50 cents, it, you know, in credit to dollar value, like it's like 50 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Um, and we're going to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, we're not really going to customize it a whole lot because honestly, everyone's probably already seen all of the different decals that it comes with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a new preset, customize car, and we'll go ahead and throw on the, oh, where would it be? Uh, all right there. Perfect. F1. So there we go, we have the F1 car. Um, I mean, we can look at the decals just really quickly. Some of them are pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie, but most of them I just I just don't really care for. It does seem like there's something for everyone, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna use the Red Bull one because why not? Uh, and then you, you can't customize literally anything else. You can do a boost, um, goal explosion. You can put a trail on it, that's cool. Uh, but literally, literally nothing else at all. So here's, what it looks like and then we're gonna go ahead and swap over to the animus I made three different presets so I targeted um, you know a couple different styles of car uh, like yeah you'll 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 see you'll see okay so this is like kind of my style of car um, this is kind of what I prefer so this is actually with a black animus um, these are quite pricey they're only 700 credits on the spreadsheet, but I couldn't find one immediately for less than 2,000. Um, I, I think maybe they just go for 2,000 because they're discontinued item. But, you know, I did get one. I thought it would be a little bit darker than it is, but, you know, I, I was a little bit disappointed if you, honestly, the default one looks basically identical. You can see it get a little bit darker, but not by much. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's what that looks like. It, it does look really, really good. And then this one right here is probably my favorite one. So this decal actually is just on your account already. Um, so that's free. And then the Animus was only 300 credits for the titanium white one. And if you want, you can throw on the Cristianos, which are about 100 credits, which I think look absolutely insane. Still, I just like the glossy look of the black Dices, um, you know, because it kind of matches the like glossy gold look. Um, and I used like a bluish purple on the other side and you can customize this and make it black as well Which looks really really sweet um, For both of them honestly and even if you use the Cristianos like that uh, It kind of matches too because I'm using a matte paint finish 
Uh, so this one really, really sick. This is about 300 credits for this car. 400 credits if you count the Cristianos. So really, really sweet car. Um, definitely, I mean, you're saving 1600 credits, but we still have not gotten to the part where we're going to compare how they play. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, this one, I tried to like kind of match the, the wheels. Uh, this is the best wheel I found that kind of matches what the F1 comes with. And honestly, I kind of like them. They're kind of sweet. They're, they're a Rocket Pass wheel. These are just the black skater wheels. Um, yeah, they're, they're not bad. They're not bad. I like them. And then I just use a dissolver um, just to show like, you know, a couple different decals on it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hop in this bad boy uh, because I really like this, this one. And we're going to go ahead and go into some free play just real quick. And we'll see how this one feels first. And then, and then we'll swap over to the, uh, to the F1 car. So, I mean, right off the bat, it definitely feels like, kind of like a Dominus. Um, I don't really have any complaints. It's not super, super flat. It's got a little bit of a hump to it in the middle. So, uh, it seems like you wouldn't have like the problem of like thinking that the ball is, you know, you're going to hit the ball when it's like just barely off the ground. Uh, and then you don't. I do that a lot in the Dominus. Um, but this one, I mean, it seems like it's almost as tall as an Octane. I could be wrong. It could be just a little bit shorter, but not... It's not, like, super, super flat. I Some of my buddies have already got the F1 pack, and they said the biggest thing is it's just so, so flat. So flat. Like, I obviously haven't played with it at all because, you know, you guys saw me just buy it. Um, honestly, the Animus feels really good. I mean, it feels, it feels normal. It feels totally, like, normal. Like, I wouldn't really have any trouble playing with this car, uh, you know, if I wanted to. And it looks, honestly, really, really good. Like, it looks really, really, really good. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and swap to the F1 car now. And we'll go ahead and see kind of how that feels. I'm kind of excited. Um, it's definitely a lot more aggressive. It's really, really aggressive looking, but honestly, 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 is it worth the 2000 credits when you can have a car that looks basically just like it for, you know, a fraction of the cost, like, like only $3 versus $20. Like, is it worth it? It kind of looks like a go-kart to be honest. Um, it's definitely a lot flatter than the Animus, I feel like. I feel like it's just a lot slimmer. Um, let's let's see. I mean, that was a decent flick, but I didn't really test any flicks in the Animus. Um, and even if this car also feels good, the Animus felt good as well. So like, it, is it worth it just strictly for the looks of the F1 car to uh, you know spend the twenty dollars on it? I, right now I'm saying, I'm saying no, you know, I'm, I'm always going to tell you guys, like, I would rather spend my credits so that you guys don't spend yours. Like, I would love to tell you guys to, you know, freaking, yeah, go, go buy it, use my code, whatever. But like, it's just not unique. It's just not unique. There's already, there's already one in the game. So like, why would you need to go buy this, you know, this special edition one that you can't customize at all? Like you only have eight decals or whatever it is. Um, you, whereas with the, with the Animus, you could use any black market in, you know, any other universal decal. Um, and then there's also the Animus specific decals as well. So, and you can use any wheels, any boosts, any trails, you know, whatever, uh, which you can use any boost and trail on this one as well. But it's just like, you're, you're, you're so limited, um, for spending $20, you're so limited on what you can do with it. I just, I just, I just don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think it is. I personally do not think it is. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Let's, can I do anything even semi-decent with this? No. I mean, that's, that's mostly because I'm just bad at the game, but like, you know. It does, it does seem to like flicks. It's very easy to dribble with. Um, I will, I will say that. It seems really, really, really tiny though. Oh, I popped that one a little bit wrong. Um, it's definitely Dominus hitbox, obviously, uh, because it's such a such a long car. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't think it's worth 
the $20. That's, that's definitely my final answer. I don't think it's worth the $20 when you can have this for three, you know, like it's just, it's just not worth it. Or even this, if you don't like, uh, you know, painted stuff, like, like, look at, look how sick this looks. Look how sick that is. I mean, that thing looks aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And then, I mean, you can get like flashy with it as well, or you can just do it like clean like this, or, you know, you could even just do uh, like a try hard version and just do this and then like some super dark colors. No way. Uh, let's see. Wait. Customized car. Let's go ahead and throw no decal on and just maybe like some, some Christianos. Like, like you can, you can make the car whatever you want it to be. And I think that's, that's worth way more than, you know, the $20 to spend to, you know, have that car look cool like this one. I mean, like, I, you guys know I, I love items in Rocket League, but, like, I just I just don't think this one's worth it. I don't think it is. I like all the, I like the carbon fiber bits. I like the carbon fiber control arms and all that stuff. It's really cool attention to detail on the car. Um, but I just, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it at all. I mean, you get some cool tires with it, but you can't use them on any other car, and you can't use any other wheels on this car. So... Yeah, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like it. And I know I'm, I know I'm late to the party and everyone, you know, has already tried this out and whatever, but you know, hopefully I can make a good enough thumbnail and title that you guys want to click on this video and check it out. Um, and you know, see my opinion, or maybe if you just, you know, you, you want to see my opinion anyways. And you know, I appreciate you guys that watch this far into the video. Um, but yeah, guys, I, if you didn't already buy it, let's see, how long is it in the item shop? I'm assuming it leaves very soon. Let's see. Does it say limited time? Oh, I think it only says when you haven't bought it yet, how long it is. So, I mean, so they did it Formula One 2021. So I'm assuming they're going to do Formula One 2022 next year. They're going to do another one, um, which I don't know if I like that because what are they going to change? If anything, you know, are they just going to drop the exact same pack again? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you in the next video. Um, thank you for listening to my rant about why this car isn't worth it. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.